there's not many things about the sport of hockey that are conventional. Whether it be the fact that they're skating on ice or that they, the accents that the players talk with, there's not much that is normal. What is weirdest though is that two guys can drop their gloves and start punching each other in the face with the consequence being a five minute penalty. Now, I think that the game of hockey needs fighting because it keeps the game safer. And it sounds like an oxymoron, but let me explain. Brandon Prust, who is currently a forward for the Montreal Canadiens, just wrote an article called Why We Fight. It was posted on the Players' Tribune. And in that, he used his personal experience to explain that within a game, if something happens to one of your star players, you don't, you don't have time to wait for the league to hopefully suspend the guy for hitting your star player and injuring him. So it brings immediate consequences to a dirty action, which keeps the game safer because if you're worried about somebody who's going to beat the crap out of you, you're probably going to think twice before you hit someone. Also, he could be a tad biased because he's a hockey player, but medical professionals also feel the same. A Georgetown medical professor named Randy the Tinga said that if you take hockey out of fighting, his, he had a study at Georgetown, it was a one-year study, and he concluded that if you were to take hockey out of fighting, there would be more, there would be more violence in the hits, and, there, and it would cause more head injuries from people getting rammed into the boards and other things like that. Now, I think a misconception about it is that these fights are not like regular street fights. Because A, both people consent, usually consent to the fight. If one person drops their gloves, the fight doesn't happen. And also, they are wearing helmets, which may sound weird, may sound a little weird, but it's their, uh, they like, so when you're getting hit in the head, the worst thing that's going to get hurt is your knuckle. And that was also when Randy Jatinga's study, he showed that out of the fights in 2011, there were 17 reported injuries. Ten of them were small cuts, and five of them were broken knuckles. And then the other two were head injuries. Where in 81% of fights on the street, you either get a you either get a severe knuckle injury or a concussion. And part of this is because of the ice skate combination, to where you it's hard to get traction on ice to punch somebody in the face. So even if you get hit 15 times, maybe three of them will hurt as bad as they would if you were on the street. And a quote, once again, from Brandon Preston in his article, there's no cheap shots in a fight. If you, are, if you both consent to the fight, you are, you are basically saying, I'm willing to punch you in the face, but I'm also willing to get punched in the face. Where, as if fighting wasn't in the game, people would be going around while people had their backs turned to the boards and getting their head shoved into the glass. So, in conclusion, fighting keeps the game safer because it allows a... It is a safer alternative to ramming people into the boards at full speed when you can punch them in the face, let out some anger, and hopefully get some momentum for your team. Thank you.